And as Italy stays on lockdown because of the coronavirus, one Tulsa woman is stuck there. She's just unsure of what to do next. Tours for you's Katie Kelleher shares how she is doing tonight. Katie. I wash my hands all the time. I, I brought with me alcohol pads and wet wipes. That's how Tolson Jan Pepler is protecting herself from coronavirus. Pepler flew to Rome last Wednesday to begin a six week vacation. Nobody's there. There was nobody at the Vatican. Her photos show most of Rome deserted. On her fifth night, she knew she had to get out too. The woman in the room next to me had a hacking cough. That freaked me out. She bought a first class train ticket to Bari on the Adriatic coast. An hour after arriving, she posted this on Facebook when the prime minister ordered the entire country under quarantine. I couldn't see what I was supposed to do. I think I'm a little more concerned about being on an airplane going to the airport right now. Pepler is a Chicago native who lives in Tulsa and is writing a book. She decided to stay in Italy, reserving an Airbnb for several weeks in a small town outside Palermo. I'm not worried. At the same time, I think it's a good thing that I'll be in one place for four weeks, so basically self-quarantine. Our NBC station in Chicago spoke to her via FaceTime as she had just gotten off the ferry in Sicily. It was very nerve-wracking to be at the port, afraid that there would be police at the port. With the country now shut down, Pepler says Italians she's talked to are worried. When I left Rome, that hotel owner said, please pray for us. And I got to Bari and essentially the next hotel owner said the same thing. He was terrified that he would lose his business. Pepler says she's not in the high risk category and is not worried about getting sick. She is supposed to travel back to the U.S. from Athens in mid-April, but is not sure how she'll get from Italy to Greece. Katie Kelleher, two works for you.